Well, welcome back everyone to the Fantasy League. This is week two. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host. I finally calibrated Perky so it doesn't mouth off like it did at the beginning of last week's episode. So, everything should be fine. So, let's look at where we were last week. So, here are the standings. Oh, yes. Good old four-way tie between Duncan, Perky, Stefan, and Terry. Uh, with the rest of us all, you know, being competitive as long as your name isn't Pinky. And uh, with that, we'll now need to see if we can be competitive with our week two predictions. So we start off with Darius, who's uh, a lot of a lot of faith in particular one match, uh, BDS versus Rogue. He had a, a damn near sweep, apart from Rogue stealing it at the end. Um, also, the Astralis win. Optimistic. Martin and myself are good old objectives everywhere. A little bit of a disparity in regards to mid-game objectives, but pretty close to a hive mind. It's not close to a hive mind on wins. Then we've got Stefan and Terry. And uh, Terry still going with his whole sweeps to get points strategy, which did him well last split. And uh, Stefan also going for a bit of BDS optimism against Vitality, considering the super team hasn't worked out. Then we got Duncan. And yeah, quite a lot of decent predictions in regards to his fights, particularly mid-game objectives. They seem to be there. Then we've got Pinky, who, as we know, is the coin flip bot, and um, just take it as that. It's got a 50% chance of getting any objective, so that's fair. And then Perky, uh, a little bit off on being able to get data on BDS. Leaves it to have sort of optimistic predictions, but it's always learning. So, with those out of the way, should we actually get into how the matches went? Yeah, let's do it. We two run down. Go! Right, let's kick the week off. It's Misfits versus XL. Now, both of them didn't really have a great week one. XL less so, but they started off well. They got themselves a first dragon. And got themselves a first blood during a first herald fight. Which was then collected by them as well. Jinx Rocket nearly uh, stole the thunder though. First tower was also taken by XL. Nothing could go wrong. Until it did. A bad dragon play for Soul gave Misfits the first Baron and the victory afterwards. Misfits going 3 and 1. Game 2. Astralis versus Fnatic, and Fnatic's dominant performance just kept going, except for that first blood for Astralis. He's a bit of off field. Dragon ended up Fnatic's way, along with Harold. Again, nice little team fight going on there. Top tower was also taken by Fnatic. Because why not? Hell, all the other objectives were barren. Kind of clean. And for the Cloud Soul, a victory as well. 4 0. G2 and SK were up next. And First Dragon actually went SK's way. I mean, their nearly hour long performance against Mad the week before. Probably kept him going, but Harold ended up G2's. First Blood also ended up theirs as well. And then it became G2, G2. Bottom Tower, easily theirs. And Mountain Soul and a few kills up, they also got themselves the Baron. It was a nice steal attempt, but it didn't happen. G2. Got themselves the win. And getting up there as well. BDS 
taking on Vitality, and after Vitality's nightmare performance, could anything go bad for him? Well, yeah. A nice little jungle mess for First Blood went to BDS. Then, Vitality started waking up. They got themselves a dragon, while BDS were going for the Herald play. Well, they got themselves the bottom tower after some chaos in the bottom lane. First Baron also went Vitality's way. And then the game with a Mountain Soul. Vitality finally on the board. Last game of the Friday. Mad Lions versus Rogue. Now this was going to be a match. And it went Rogue's way pretty quickly. A nice Blitzcrank grab in their bush and it was it was done. Mad Lions got themselves a the Herald. And got themselves a tower as well. And a couple of jungle camps. Because why not? Rogue was still ahead in kills though. And Dragon was taken while that tower was going. Then Rogue got themselves a ton of kills. And a Baron as well. 15-6 at that point, and then Mountain Soul later, 26-10, to get themselves the win. Right, that's Friday. Let's move on to Saturday. SK versus XL in the battle of the two letter acronyms. First Blood ended up on the top tower dive. The XL staple this season so far. First Dragon, though, ended up XLs. Herald did get taken by SK, even though XL's jungler was trying to stop it from being collected. Tower ended up SK's as well. Then, XL got themselves quite a few kills and got themselves a Baron, and then they had quite a bit of squeaky bum time, before finally getting themselves their next win. Game 2, and it's Mad Lions taking on the floundering Astralis. First Blood did go Mad Lions' way, only due to the fact that I could see a Jinx logo. It was so close. Dragon went to Astralis, while the Herald went to Mad Lions, and Astralis just punishing the bottom lane. That meant Top Tower ended up with Mad Lions, and then Astralis, even though they got themselves a Baron, sort of fell apart. Mad Lions got this one. Astralis really not having a good game. BDS is turned to take on Rogue. Well, they didn't want to take it lying down. But Rogue got themselves the first dragon. And cross map play. Herald ended up BDS's. First Blood, though, went on the top lane to Rogue, and it was, well, clean as you like. Top Tower was the first to fall for Rogue as well. And then the overlay died. First Baron, though, ended up Rogue's way as well. Before they got themselves the win. And poor BDS, getting humbled by an undefeated set. Now, speaking of undefeated, Fnatic versus Misfits. And Dragon ended up Fnatic's way. I mean, let's, let's, let's just make this clear. Misfits did not have a good game. Herald, also taken by Fnatic. They got themselves a first blood, our good old Misfits team. And just a, a poke in a mid lane brush. First tower, though, ended up Fnatic's. Because of course it did. And then Fnatic did what Fnatic do. Got themselves a ton of kills, got themselves a Baron, and got themselves a win. They're almost like a G2 back in the day. And speaking of G2, it was their turn to take on Vitality. And, um, well, well what is there to say? Bottom lane first blood for Vitality. Herald ended up G2's way. But they were already three kills down at this point. Dragon was taken by Vitality, 
around the same time. Well, first tower, the bottom lane tower, was taken by Vitality as well. G2 got themselves a kill back. Then, uh, well, Baron ended up Vitality's way. We have an Infernal Soul as well. They got themselves a second win. Vitality finally have woken up. So how did that affect our game? So here's the week two results. Pinky, not really doing well. Down at the bottom, 28 for the week. I ended up at the top, which uh, surprised everyone, including myself. So that's how that worked. But how are the total standings? Well, Pinky is really having a problem down at 64, but Terry is now out in front on his own at 92. So let's see how week three goes. We'll see you next week.